Yes, something of the sort. Thank you very much. And, uh, well, happy birthday, Adolfo. Thank you for having me here on this celebration of, of your work. Uh, well, he was uh, a jury in my, in my master's thesis, and uh, so this is so, sort of a con continuation of what I started uh, in my master's. And, uh, well, first of all, I have, I have to apologize. I, given the time I, I, I have and, and, and the nature of the problem I'm tackling, I will owe you all the examples. I mean, the, the, ex the examples are, are just the obvious ones. That's the problem with, with, with all the things I'm, I'm, I'm doing right now. So, um, okay, the first two parts are more or less a summary of what, what I did on my master's thesis, and then I'm going to go uh, talking about um, Lee supergroups, which is what I'm doing in my PhD thesis. And well, I, I think this slide is, this slide is uh, it, it, it doesn't belong here, you all follow the right faith, but uh, yes, everything is smooth, everything I will talk about will be finite, dimensional, and real. Okay, so let's start with, uh, with supermanifolds. Our definition of a supermanifold differs somewhat of uh, the usual definition, in that uh, we don't use sheaves for it, we use a, a, an algebra bundle, and well, uh, the, the definition is, 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 the, is the usual thing, uh, M is a, a usual, uh, classical m-dimensional manifold, and our m is a unitary unit superalgebra bundle over over that manifold, meaning that every point is isomorphic to a to the exterior algebra of a vector space of dimension n. Uh, the the p there is uh, I, I slipped it, there's the, that's a typo. It doesn't depend on the point p. And uh, well, the sections of 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 that of this bundle we, we call the uh, smooth superfunctions. Okay, so. Uh, one of the things is that uh, the bundle Rm is not necessarily an exterior algebra bundle. Okay, that's the first thing. And the second one is we, we, we still get a filtering of the algebra at each point and therefore at, uh, at the level of sections and at the level of bundles uh, by considering the nilpotent bundle at, 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 at each point no, and then taking the powers. Right? So this is fairly simple, I think. And now I have to tell you what the smooth maps, uh, the smooth supermaps are. And, uh, well, the definition is, again, quite straightforward. First, we have, it consists of two parts. One, one the, the, the first one is a, a, a usual smooth map between two manifolds, and the, the other one is, is, it goes the other way around. It, the, 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 this is necessary. And uh, it's a unital homomorphism of superalgebras. That, that, mean, that means that one goes to one and, and this forces the, the, morphisms, uh, the morphism to be even. So now, now I can tell you something about these things. And uh, we can define this commutator. Okay? All, all of this makes sense because this is, this is a, uh, a section of a vector bundle. This is also a section of another vector bundle, bundle over another, uh, another uh, smooth manifold, but this is a function over that, that manifold. And we can prove that, f well, first of all, that this uh, iterated commutator is independent of, uh, of the order in which you insert smooth functions. And if you exceed, by, if you exceed the, the, the integer part of Q over 2, where Q is the, the odd dimension of the column, Codomain, then you get zero, and that's why we call them. Uh, we say that phi, big phi, is a differential operator along little phi, meaning that if m equals n and and little phi is the identity, we recover a characterization of a of a linear uh, differential operator. Okay, so um, so that's for for morphisms, and well, um, one of the important theorems that we proved. Uh, th this part is, is, is known as a bachelor's theorem, uh, although we, we gave another proof of it. Uh, what, what, what this theorem essentially says is that it, it doesn't matter. It, it, as long as we, we consider smooth, real supermanifolds, the usual shift theoretic approach and our approach are exactly the same. It's the same theory. So uh, I, I actually qu was quite startled by, by this theorem. But Fortunately, it is true, and uh, well, th th this part takes care of the morphisms, and well, this part is bachelor's theorem, theorem which takes care of uh, of the objects. So now I can 
Now we can go up uh, to the infinitesimal level. And uh, th this part I actually like quite a lot. Uh, so if, if, we get a, if we have a super manifold, we can define what I call uh, odd directions and co-directions, uh, which uh, the, the, name, the name forces itself once, once one looks at the, at the definition, because on, on, on a regular manifold, what, what we have is the directions are what we call tangent vectors. And the off tangent vectors would be the ones pointing upwards, right? So that, 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 those would be the odd coordinates. And uh, well, once we have a a supermanifold morphism, uh, we, we 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 can patch up a vector bundle morphism between the, these two exterior powers, which are. Um, Define essentially the same way with appropriate appropriate uh, indices over there, and since every uh, talk has to contain at least one proof, here's a proof. No, this is true because phi preserves the filtration of the algebra. Okay, so we can it descends to the level of, of bundles. Right. So this is the important part. Uh, as as in usual differential topology, we we, we need to define. Um, the, the differential or the tangential maps, and this, it's actually quite easy with the, propos with the previous proposition. What, what we get is uh, is uh, the the well the differential the, the one that goes in the right direction is defined by this, and you will notice that we have the usual tangent bundle that makes sense, and the the bundle of odd directions that should make sense and and, and, it, and it does because what we what, what we I, I will tell you a, a result later that uh, that tells you that um, at least point wise the bundle of super derivations which is going to be a bundle is generated point wise by these two uh, bundles okay meaning that every super derivation I can I can uh, I can completely characterize but what happens to these to these two parts, okay? So you can consider these to be the even part of the superderivation and, and this one the, the odd part. And well, the co-differential is just the dual. No, that still makes a lot of sense. And we get a, a very important map over here, which we call the auxiliary differential. And it's, it's defined by this formula, which makes sense also. Point-wise, and uh, well, uh, of course, uh, we're, 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 we are using the fact that we can, around a point, we can we can uh, write every uh, every differential form, differential one form as as the differential of a function. I'm sorry, and uh, well, this makes sense, and it's going to be uh, quite important when when I will when when I discuss the the multiplication map of an group okay so uh, and well we also have uh, actually the one that will be useful to me will, will be the the dual of this one okay and we call it the auxiliary because we couldn't think of a better name but anyway so um, and now finally this the promise result about the the tangent super bundle the first thing we, we have to observe is that at each point in, 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 a, in, in a regular manifold, in a classical manifold, the fiber of the structure bundle is just uh, a real line. And the derivations of the real numbers are just zero. But in this case, we have non-trivial derivations at each point. These derivations only act on the fiber of, of each point. So it makes sense to form a bundle out of them. Right? So that, that, that's what this bundle is. Okay, well, fiber-wise. And the theorem says that we can characterize the well, the superderivations of the superalgebra of superfunctions uh, is the sheaf of sections of a of, of a vector bundle over M, no, that is characterized by these by, by, by this uh, exact sequence. Okay, this is just regular inclusion. This is something called the principal symbol of a differential operator. Okay, that and this is a very theorem, I think. And well, all of these will be will be will appear will be appearing in Colloquium Mathematicum shortly I hope and it's also on the archive this is the name of the of the paper and now we can go uh, to to what what we what, what I came here to tell you so Lee supergroups uh, it uh, first of all well 
Okay, uh, l l l let me just continue. First, uh, there, there's a special kind of, of, of supermanifolds. We call them split. And, and we, denoted, we denote them by this because it is, they are completely characterized by, by either the bundle of co-directions or uh, of odd co-directions or odd directions. Okay, we don't need anything else to know what happens uh, when, when treating one of these manifolds. So uh, the, the, name, the, the name comes from Bachelor's Theorem. And uh, it, 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 it has an algebraic mot mot motivation. But uh, what we can prove, and this is quite nice, um, that a, a split supermanifold is a Lie supergroup, whatever that means, uh, if and only if the manifold is a regular Lie group, which ought to be, and the bundle is GP homogeneous, meaning that we have this diagram, we have this map. Uh, that's why we have this. We have this map we call a B action, no? which, is, which is essentially a pair of actions, one right action, one left action, and they commute. Okay? They intertwine well. And um, of course, G has a, B ac a natural B action of, 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 uh, on itself by right and left multiplication. Those also commute. And, what the, and, and the, the hom B homogeneity comes from the commutativity of this diagram. Okay, and uh, we can also prove that these objects, GB homogeneous bundles, are in, in complete correspondence with representations of the group. So we are back onto the realm of representation theory, which is usually quite a good thing. No? And uh, well, the thing is that least supergroup in, in this split category, would, it should be a group on a category. Right? Mm -hmm. It should be something like this. Mm -hmm. no? It should be an, a, an object of the category with, se with three maps, three distinguished maps, that satisfy the, the, the group ax axioms, which can be phrased in terms of commutative diagrams. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens. In the split category, we have no problem. They're in correspondence with uh, the homogeneous bundles. Uh, the problem here is that, well, for first the consequences, G should be a Lie group. No? Uh, the bundle of directions, of odd directions of, 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 of this, of this supermanifold is also GB homogeneous. That's also easy. The tangent space, or the supertangent space at the identity element is also a Lie superalgebra. That's more or less easy to prove. Uh, but the problem is that the, the bundle RG is not necessarily B homogeneous. There is no natural way, there is no straightforward way of, of defining a, a B action. Which is kind of regretful because uh, in, in, in the split category we could uh, uh, write down a dictionary between supergroups and representations of the group. And in this case we can't, well, not naturally at least. But, but, when we have the, the well, the um, multiplication map is a smooth, uh, is a smooth supermap. Uh, with very special properties, but the auxiliary the dual of the auxiliary differential of that thing uh, is a map that goes from this bundle, the, the second exterior power of uh, SG plus SG, to the, the tangent bundle of G. Now, it behaved in the sense that we can recover the Lie algebra structure from that map. Uh, and what we do will, uh, first, this lemma just tells us what happens at the level of the auxiliary differential when we consider the composition of two maps. And the second one, well, it's, it's a very complicated computation, but uh, what it says is that um, the, B, the, the auxiliary differential and the B action um, interrelate in a, in a very nice way. Uh, the B action is codified in, uh, in, the, in the differential of the, of the multiplication. I forgot to say that. Uh, um, in the category of, of, of uh, split Lie supergroups, um, one only needs to define the differential of the of a super of, of the super multiplication map, and that and that completely characterizes the whole map. Okay, because they're bu they're, it's a bundle map in in, in 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 the end. In this case, it's not necessarily a bundle map, but uh, it, it still has a proper differential. We can we we we, we can uh, make it uh, um, making make it act with the auxiliary differential of the multiplication and we get and, 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 and we get uh, well this for this and this for this no and um, owing to some miraculous calcu uh, 
to some, well, f first, um, owing to some miraculous cancellations, what we can, what, what, what we can um, do is writing any element as a product of two elements of the group. We can always do that. We can define this map. Beta is the B action, okay? So if you notice, this S and T will be over, over the fiber of this element, X, Y. This guy, what, what, what beta E, S, Y inverse does is forget that it was ever over Y and just put it over X. And this guy, for, what, what, what it does is, make, is forces T to forget that it was ever over X, over X, Y and just put it over Y. Okay? We're multiplying by, by the right and, and right left by the appropriate elements. Okay? So this is in the right fiber. And the, this turns out to be a bilinear map and we can, and we can polarize it and we get a symmetric and a skew-symmetric map from this, okay? And, but we still uh, need to, to decompose G as a product of elements. And it, the thing is that it, the, that decomposition turns out to be material at the, um, for the symmetric part because we know that the auxiliary differential should be uh, a skew-symmetric map. So the symmetric, the symmetric parts just die. Okay, they, 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 they cancel and we can, we recover a B equivariant, bilinear symmetric map from the fiber of the bundle of odd directions at the identity to the tangent, uh, to the Lie algebra. Well, I, I should have written it that way. So, this is good news because we have a, 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 a theorem that completely characterizes Lie algebras in terms of three sets of data. Well, first, uh, I'm sorry, least super algebras. What we need to, 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 to know what happens to, uh, uh, what we need to know uh, to construct a least super algebra are three things. A Lie algebra, that makes sense. A representation of the Lie algebra on, 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 on the odd uh, subspace of the super vector space. And a symmetric bilinear map that satisfies all this. Okay, and this is, this is a, a, a way of codifying the graded Jacobi identity. Yes? So, if we, if we have this and further for, for the multiplication map, we already, we, we already recover, we already get for free, well, not for free, we had, we, we had to do a lot of computations, but uh, we, we already have one, what, what, one of the maps required by this theorem, then, we get what we need. We, we get a first. We can define on the on the on the splitly supergroup a new multiplication that is not a bundle map, but nevertheless is well defined. And we get well. This this is this turned out to be quite difficult to construct. But we get a differential operator from uh, over the identity of the Lie group. No, that intertwines the two multi multiplications. And that's a, that, that's a very good thing. That what, what, what this theorem says is that, well, we have we had a nice category, which were which which in, in, in which objects were completely codified by representations of a Lie group, no. And we have another category in which we don't know what what is happening, but we have a natural way of intertwining the, the two of them, okay. And this is natural. This is this is just God given, okay. So uh, that that's that's essentially the. The main result of, 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 of my current work, uh, it's uh, joint work with my advisor, Gre Gregor Weingart, which is seated over there. And, well, I think that's all I have to say about it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Complaints? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, can be can be put in the language of uh, homogeneous vector bundles. Yes. Vector bundle over G dimension with the G action. Yeah. And uh, do you have something like the feedback? <laughs> <laughs> this is not me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> do you have something like what? Given, if you are given a, 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 a vector on the group, 
Yes. Yeah. So, right. So, like this. Uh, yeah, that's a very good question. Well, the thing is that from from this action, uh, okay. Um, for instance. Uh-huh. I guess uh, I guess it's it's uh, has been known for yeah, yeah. decades. For, for yeah. <laughs> time. So can you can you give the piece or the pieces of information that you need for, you know Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well the, what 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 I said and what the what the theorem said was that I needed something I called a B action, no? Which is a pair of actions, one left, one left, one right, which commute. No, and uh, from that B action, we can we can get a a representation. A, a, we can homogenize. I don't, I don't know how to call it. Uh, of the uh, no, wait, 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 of V. No, we can get a representation on each of the fibers by making uh, an element G go to just conju conjugation. So the gi given the B action, we can recover, we, we, re we recover completely a, a representation of G and the other way around. So it, it's essentially unique. It's unique, not essentially unique, it's unique. So once you, once you fix either one of, two, uh, of, of these two guys, you get the other one and automatically you get uh, the multiplication, let's say, from x, y, um, of s, uh, wait, s plus t. No, um, okay, this is over x, this is over y. So what you get is uh, e, s, y, plus b, uh, x, t, e. No? So this is how you write the multiplication map from the B action. And since knowing the B action is equivalent to knowing uh, one action, one proper action, not from scratch proper, uh, just one action, uh, what this formula tells you is that what B action you already have, you get for free a unique uh, super, super Lie group structure on the, on the homogeneous or B homogeneous bundle, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if I answered your question. <laughs> then, uh, I'm not sure if that, that what, what, you, what you're trying to say is... Yeah, and, and, and these are codified by uh, representations of beta, let's say, are completely characterized by, okay, uh, representations of G on the, on the fiber of the identity. So you get one supergroup for each representation of, of G. That's the, that, that's the thing. Wait. What? Oh no! Well, yeah. Okay, I think I understand the question now. You get one, uh, you get a, a one splitly supergroup over G for one of these. But yeah, you have to. What what the theorem says is that w once you have that one, no, yeah, there are many more different Lie supergroups. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Which are infinitesimally equivalent. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I was confused by the question, but but yes, uh, what this says is that the infinitesimal, um, well, well, the tangential, the, the uh, uh, multiplication map are just codified by these B action, but the global picture is quite different. But the theorem tells us that the the last theorem I showed tells us that we can intertwine them. That's the thing. But we have to construct from this uh, from this B. Which is what seem to uh, G star no S star, right? 
tensor G, no, which is uh, invariant in this case, if, 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 if you consider it as, as an element of a vector space. Uh, from, from this guy, one needs to construct a multiplication map that is associative. And the other way around, from an associative multiplication, one needs to get one of these that... Do you have Yeah, 99%. <laughs> no, I mean, yes, we, we, we do. We, we're just uh, verifying everything. Is, it, it's all right before sending it. But, uh, yes. We can we we can recover from from a from a given abstract multiplication map of on a Lee supergroup, not necessarily split. One of these and the other way around. From this one, uh, a multiplication map. But the, the details are rather cumbersome. I, uh, that's why I didn't put them. I'm sorry. Huh? Yeah. Uh huh. Read this, yeah. It's a kind of super split, super quantum super group. Wow. <laughs> right. Okay. And, and another uh, foundational question. Uh, you mentioned the definition between, uh, of morphism between two super elements. So you use the definition. Yes. That's a good question. No, I think you need you need both of them because um, what? Okay, uh, R N from R M. This is the one. So you you're asking if shouldn't shouldn't it be completely characterized by this by this one? Well, th no. The thing is that uh, for for all this to work, we need uh, I need to erase something. Just a moment. For all this to work, we are implicitly assuming that we have an inclusion map, no, from this to this, no, and this other part, what, I'm sorry, you, this other part will be the one that, that, that tells us how, how the algebra of smooth functions, of usual smooth functions is embedded in here, and the, one, and the, 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 the important thing is that, uh, wait, I need some space. No, is ah well. It's easier to just write uh, this commutator that, that that I defined. I mean, perhaps it would be completely ah uh, evaluated. Evaluate 
perhaps it would be interesting to know uh, what kind of structure you get if you only consider this big five, but the, the important part here is this, this part. This is what allows us to, to prove that they are differential operators. So, so pro I mean, probably you can get a new theory from just considering this one. But we, we, we like this one because they are, in some sense, very, very akin to differential operators, and, and we like that. No, but yes, I, I don't know. That's a very good question. No, I don't know if I answered your question actually. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.